Hey folks, this is Praveen and today we'll gonna see the problem of word pattern. So the problem statement says, given a pattern and a string S, find if S follows the same pattern. Uh, here follow means a full match such that uh, there is a uh, bijectional between a letter in the pattern and the non empty word in S. So what the problem statement says here, uh, so we are given a pattern and the string here will have to match whether the given pattern is uh, satisfying the given string so how can we check we'll check here like in the example one we have given a b b a so we'll check the first letter is a uh, character is a we'll check uh, the first word which is dog right then the b is cat then again b is coming so we know b is already as uh, like equivalent to the cat so yeah second word is also cat here then the fourth word is a and a was already came earlier and that was assigned as in like that that is coming as in dog so here also it is coming as the dog so this pattern is completely satisfying this string so we are returning here as in true now we'll check the another pattern pattern is same and here the string is dog cat cat fish so earlier it was dog now here it is fish so this will here will return false because here the first character is a which is dog and the last character is also a but the value here is coming as in fish so this is not satisfying this particular pattern now the third example is uh, a, a a a so here we are seeing the dog cat cat and dog so this is also not satisfying this particular pattern because initially a is uh, assigned to the dog now a again the a is coming so it should be dog 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 because all four are the a so here also we're gonna return the uh, false now we have a b b a here we are returning dog 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 as in uh, the string provided as dog 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 and uh, this here also we are returning false the reason is a is assigned as in dog then b is coming so b cannot be the dog so it has to be like a a a a in that case if it has to be true so here since it is given it is also not satisfying this uh, particular pattern will return here as well so how we'll solve it so to solve it we'll gonna use a map here so let me explain the solution first before jumping to the code so the left hand side is the pattern and here we are we have the string and let's assume we have one map as well here now what will gonna what will gonna happen uh, this is our pointer let's assume first we'll check a, a. and uh, so first we are getting character a we'll check uh, and which is coming with the dog so we'll check whether this is there in our map or not if it is not there we'll add it to our map then we'll our pointer will move to the next uh, character which is b then here we'll check the second uh, word in the string which is cat so we'll check b is there or not it's not there so we'll add b here and we'll add it here as in cat now our pointer will move another one step to the right and we'll get b which is again coming with as in cat we'll check whether b is there so yeah it's there and its value is cat and our value is also cat so that's good we can move forward from here then the next uh, we'll move the pointer to the next uh, character which is a and here we'll see the corresponding uh, word is dog we'll see whether a is there in the uh, map so yeah it is there and the value is dog and here also it is dog so we'll move forward and since we have not encountered any issue so far so we will we'll be returning true here we'll check one more example where the value was given as a fish at the last so till this point it will work as it is that is as it worked earlier and it will populate a and b in the map now when we'll move again here to the a and it will come with the word fish but when we'll see okay a is there in the map so it will say yes but what is the value there in the map it's dog but we have the value fish so we'll return false so that's how we can actually solve this so let's try to write the code for this and one more thing we can check here that's a corner case let's assume this is dog and again we had it some another like there is another string here so the number of character and number of words are not matching in that case also like the pattern won't match 
So with that, actually, I'll start to write the code for this. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We'll create an string array. We call it str equal to and s dot, which is our string. We'll split it from the spaces. So wherever we'll get the space, we'll split our string. Now we'll check if str dot length not equal to pattern dot length. Uh, that means they they are not like uh, the pat number of uh, character in the pattern number of word in the strings are not seen so we'll return here return here return here as a false if we have the same number of character both the sides the character in the word what we're gonna do we're gonna iterate from the pattern all right so what we're gonna do in I equal to zero. I is less than I is less than pattern dot length. And I plus plus. So we are going to the entire pattern. Now what we'll have to check first thing we'll have to check we'll have to create a map of. So map will store two things. One is the character. Second one is the word. Second one is the string, so character and string. So this is our map. Just kind of you know, hash map. Fine. Now, first thing we wanna check. Okay. Map dot. Or we'll get it here. Map dot. Get. Uh, what we want to get? Pattern. Dot. Uh, Carrot i. So we are checking whatever the character is there on the ith index whether it's there as a whether it's available in the map or not. So we'll call it as a key. Okay, this key is there or not in this map. If key is not available, key is equal to equal to null. Sorry, key is not equal to null. Then what we're gonna check and then we'll check uh, this is actually the value so the value is not equal to equal to null and the value dot equals to uh, the string on the string on the height position so we'll check now with the string that means there is uh, a value available for that particular particular key and if it is not equal to the uh, value which is there coming on the string so we'll return false here but that if that is also not true then what we can do we can check another condition else if uh, now the another case could be the value is equal to equal to null okay this is null but uh, so there could be possibility like the same word is used by some other character so uh, in earlier example we had the dog right that was uh, used by the a and uh, then we were al al in the example 4 we were having the b also where we were uh, trying to assign it as a dog so it was failing so in that case what we'll gonna do we're gonna check okay maybe for this history this character the value is not available but whether this value is being used by some other character so contains value contains value and we can check if this value is being already used by some other uh, character if that is the case we'll return as an false and in the last case okay if the, if both are not there that means that a string is not available and uh, uh, that the key is also not available so we're gonna add it to our map so map dot put 
and we'll add key and value both so our key would be our pattern uh, dot caret i and the value would be uh, a string value at i so str value at i and uh, if we are completely done with this loop and we have not uh, uh, break out from here and return true then our pattern is matching and will return true from here so if i have written it correctly it should work let's try to submit it yeah so it's working so that's how we can solve the problem of uh, uh, the word pattern if you like this video uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave your comment thank you